Yeah, hello my friends, my name is Forge, and welcome to another add-on showcase. Well, today we're looking at the Java Combat add-on created by Lord Rayan, which introduces the Java Combat system to Minecraft Bedrock. When it comes to Java Edition Combat, the first thing that generally comes to mind is the weapons in the cooldowns. On Minecraft Java Edition, depending on the weapon or tool you use, you'll get a different cooldown. So look on the bottom of my crosshair. We'll get ourselves this icon, which kind of resembles a sword. That's going to show you how much cooldown you have. If you use any of the swords, then they're going to have a cooldown of 0.60. Then for the axes, wooden axe has 1.25, gold is 1, iron is 1.10, stone 1.25, Diamond is 1, Netherite is 1, the Trident is 0.90, then any other item that's not a weapon or tool, then that's going to be a quarter second. And the same thing for the Gardening Hose, which is a quarter second as well. And on top of that, we have new damages for the different tools and weapons. Now as far as I'm aware, the sword damages are not different. So Wooden Swords does 4, Stone does 5, Iron does 6, Gold does 4, Diamond does 7, and Netherite does 8. Now normally for an axe, these are the damages. 3 for Wooden, 4 for Stone, 5 for Iron, 3 for Gold, 6 for Diamond, and 7 for Netherite. And here are the new damages. So Wooden now does 7, Gold does 7, Iron does 9, Stone does 9, Diamond does 9, Netherite does 10. If you use an item that's not a weapon or tool, then that is 1 damage. And finally we have the Gardening Hose which the damages have not changed. Wooden still does 2, Stone does 3, Iron does 4, Gold does 2, Diamond does 5, and Netherite does 6 damage. And that's going to do it for damages and cooldowns. This add-on even introduces a new enchantment, which is Sweeping Edge. Whenever it comes to attacking mobs, just like on Java Edition when you use a sword, you get this cool sweeping effect. Sweeping Edge is meant to increase the radius and damage that that sweeping effect does. So we results a regular wooden sword. And the moment I attack, we get ourselves that effect, only affecting the mob that we are directly looking at. The next step we're going to apply is Sweeping Edge. All you need is the crafting section. And now if I attack, then all the mobs get affected, which is definitely very useful. In order to obtain Sweeping Edge, you need to find a librarian. And the moment you go to trade with them, you will find Sweeping Edge. They even introduced a bow ding sound when you hit a player with a bow. So usually when you play on a Java server, you can hear a ding. I'm not sure if you can hear this on any multiplayer world or if it's just a server thing. And listen carefully. You hear a little ding. And next up in crystals, they now have the same explosion damage as they do on Java Edition, which would be about 6 hearts of damage. That definitely packs a punch. And finally, when you're falling from a boat, you no longer take fall damage. Now this is definitely a big one, because for some reason on Bedrock, you take a lot of fall damage when you fall from a boat. So without the add-on installed, we end up taking a lot of damage. And if I reactivate the add-on, and I fall from the side again, as you can see, we took no damage. That is definitely useful. And that's going to be it for what Ryan's Java Combat has to offer us. But if you ever wanted the Java Combat system over on Bedrock, then now it's the perfect time to do so. If you guys want to check out this add-on, then there will be a link in the description. And if you enjoy these types of videos, then please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on notifications. But for now, I will catch you next time. Goodbye.